well, well. What have we here? Let's say I buy you a real drink, sister. We've already got a drink, thanks. Uh, that's quite the deep voice you got there, little lady. But it's cool. That's it. You had a chance to walk away. A parasite? Samson, you've got to stop doing that. You're drawing too much attention to us. <laughs> that creep was asking for it. No one lays a hand on my host. No one. I know you mean well, but I can take care of myself. Anyway, where to next? We need leads on the Skull Heart. I've got to wish my memories back. It's definitely in New Meridian. I can feel it. With all these Skullgirl rumors floating around, I bet we can find a lead just by looking for trouble. Fine, we'll do it your way. Up. Samson, who was I? Why does this poor girl know me? I uh, don't know. It's clearly insane. I wouldn't worry about it. Damn it, she's getting up. We need to get out of here. 
Belia, it's me, Carol. Carol? Carol, is that really you? Wait, Carol! Don't go! She's gone. Just great. No talking you out of this now, huh? Sorry, Samson, but I need answers. We're going to follow her. Another failed experiment. Time to shut you down, Pain Wheel. Leave her alone! Philia, you remember me! <laughs> the amnesiac finally rears her pretty heads. What should we do, Double? The Skull Heart can answer all of your questions, dear Philia. Who you are, why you're here, what you're running from. You can do that and so much more. Anything you desire. The Skull Heart? Here? Indeed. The Skull Girl herself awaits below. But only if you prove yourself worthy. matter. We're strong now. A real team. Even so, I ain't so sure we stand a chance against her. We've got to try, Samson. I need answers, and this is the only way. again. But why? We've met before? Tell me, Skullgirl. Who am I? I only know one thing about you, Philia, and it is the only thing I need to know. Medici blood flows through your veins. The blood I have sworn to spill.
you're gonna wish for I need to make this wish count I know enough about myself now to know that memories don't matter what's done is done and it's time to move on but Carol what happened to her is my fault isn't it even if I can't remember it so Skullheart! I wish for Pain Wheel to have a normal life again! Your wish is pure. Almost. Healing the broken girl is noble. Yet, you seek absolution for your forgotten guilt. Your transformation will be slow. Make the most of it. Quiet now, everyone. Before we begin, I'd like to introduce our new transfer student, Miss Painwheel. Hmm, must be boring. Hi, everyone. My name is Painwheel. I just moved here from the labs, and I like sewing and puppies and walks on the beach. balcony tickets if you kept your act in the center ring. Ah, uh, thanks, Fang. But think about it. If I were down below, no one would ever look up to see you. Huh. Now where is he? There he is. Cerebella. Did you see me, Vitaly? 
When Fang told me you were coming, I practiced all weekend. I even added the elephants. And they didn't poop on her this time. Did you really need to bring that up, Sarabella? Yes, yes, it was fine. That hat of yours can put on quite a show. Now to business. Can I speak to you in private? I have a job that requires your special talents. Oh, sure. Is that why you came? I need you to deal with someone for me, Cerebella. What do you mean? Do you want me to catch him? Think of it as bringing them to justice, my dear. A crime against the family cannot go unpunished. The perpetrator is Nadia Fortune, the infamous cat burglar, and a feral. She has stolen something from us, a jewel called the Life Gem. Its value cannot be understated. A thief? No one messes with the Medicis! We thought she had been taken care of, yet somehow she remains a thorn in our side. You are to pursue her and reclaim the life gem from her at any cost. Am I understood? Any cost. Got it. Consider it done, Vitaly. There's a good girl. Some of Dahlia's men claim to have seen her in that horrid fish town, Little Innsmouth. I recommend you start your search there. was the cat's pajamas. I'll literally burst if I'm not careful. See you next week, Miu Aha! At last I found you, Nadia Fortune. Return the life gem, or things are gonna get rough. What's this, Nyo? Circus getup, attitude to spare, and Luca dress? Let me guess, you're one of Vitaly's goons. That's right, you mangy thief. Now... Return the life gem. Quit clowning around. You didn't actually think it'd be that easy, did you? I'm afraid I can't give you the gem, but I can give you a walking instead. Make a good team. I'll give him one thing, but tell you sure knows how to pick his women. Look, you seem nice. Naive, but nice. I'll give it to you straight. I wasn't lying when I said I can't return the life gem. Do you seriously expect me to take the word of a thief? Why do you think my body is this way? It's because I swallowed that weird gem Fishbone Gang stole from Lorenzo. That's when that Dahlia brought her goons caught us. 
Next thing I know, I wake up on the ocean floor, chopped up and in a pile with the rest of my gang. Only I'm still alive. Anyway, I'm off to steal me a skull heart. Say hi to your boss for me, and tell him that I'll be paying a visit real soon. Ciao! Wait! Damn, she got away. So she doesn't have the gem. But I can't let Vitaly down. It looks like she's headed towards the Grand Cathedral. I'll capture her and take her back to Vitaly. He'll think of something. Do I have the right to remain <laughs> violent? Gentlemen and ladies, it's showtime! Cry, Creed. Cry! Uh, up and down! Uh, Titan uh, Knuckle! Uh, Clear the way! Uh, 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 Napalm shot! Napalm talk. Cry, Creed. Uh, Cry. Uh, no clue! Not possible! Uh, uh, put her there! Uh, oh, no. uh, Cry. Uh, Cry, Creed. Lock and low! Uh, 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 Despite being mutilated so, the feral's body still lives. Simply amazing. I must perform more tests. Hands off that cat! The Medicis have a score to settle with her. Did you hear that, Kitty? The Medicis lapdog has come to save you. Sorry, but there's no way I'm giving away my new toy. We have lots of playtime ahead in the lab. Double, we have work to do. Hang on to your hat. <laughs> Gentlemen and ladies, it's showtime! Show you. Nobody gets between me and my job. Damn it. That thief snuck off while we were fighting. Your quarry has entered the catacombs. To complete her vengeance against the Medicis, she will confront the Skull Girl and claim the Skull Heart for herself. The Skull Heart can give you anything you desire, even the love of another. I 
know you're down here, naughty of fortune. You can't run any longer. The Pharaoh you seek is not here. So you're the Skull Girl. You've hurt a lot of my friends, you know. Strange. You are pure. At least compared to the company that keeps you. But your masters, the Medicis, must never be allowed to claim the Skull Heart. To eradicate them, I must eliminate you. I am sorry. Die. No, 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 no,
of the Skull Girl's power. Forget the wish. I need to find that thief and bring her back to Vitaly. Thanks for dealing with Marie for me, Circus Girl. Let me go! I've got to avenge my friends! No, my family! With one wish, I can end the Medici Mafia! I can't let you make that wish. That's my family you're talking about now! With or without my wish, I'll destroy them! As long as the Life Gems power flows through my veins, no one can stop me from avenging the Fishbone Gang! Flows through your veins, huh? Well done. You've exceeded my greatest expectations. That mangy cat burglar won't be bothering us anymore. The Skull Girl has been defeated, and the Life Gem is back in Medici hands. Our empire will be truly everlasting. Soon, even the Royal Renoir family will be no match for the Medicis. And it's all thanks to you, Cerebella. Peacock, Lab 8's magnum opus. So this is Project Peacock. I've read your papers, but I'm embarrassed to say that I can barely follow them. Well, I'll explain. Project Peacock is equipped with not one, but two synthetic parasites. Uh, Lab Zero has created one other like her, but more uh, extreme methods were required to complete the synchronization. Two synthetic parasites? Regulating the soul contamination must be difficult. Indeed. But with a proper Theonite balance, I think we could graft even more onto future subjects. The Argus system not only lets her see everything, but the eyes also generate powerful Z-rays at the precise wavelength needed to disrupt the Skullgirl's essence. Hey, Gramps! Shut it! I'm busy here. Oh, the Avery unit is admittedly a bit less well understood. Oh, we designed it to be a spatial link between her body and Lab 8's vast underground arsenal, but oh, she's doing things with it I never imagined possible. Seriously, Doc, shut it! Let's get into the good 
party. To think that poor mutilated orphan I found may be the one to defeat this skull girl once and for all. Confirmed. Gentlemen and ladies, it's showtime! Oh, 
Retirement. Ah, hold it, everyone! We've got a message coming in from Dr. Avian! Coming, Doc! Get ready! Last for attack! The Doc's in trouble! We're too late! Whoever it was, they really did a number on the lab! <sighs> Patricia! Did you hear that? I think I heard Doc Avian. Dr. Avian! Who did this to you? Lab Zero. Valentine betrayed us. She let the Skull Girl in. Which way did they go? They fled to New Meridian. Follow, but... Make sure the others are safe. I know you can protect everyone. I know you can defeat the Skulker. He's gone, boss. Guys, get ready. Pissing me off is the last mistake those idiots will ever make! Business to attend to in the Grand Cathedral. Another peacock? Looks more like a dodo to me. Extinct! Enough! Avian's legacy ends now. Of course you know this needs war. Roll camera and... Ultimate weapon finally arrives. I never expected you to be double, but don't worry. I'll be fitting you with a toe tag shortly. So why'd you do it? Both of our labs are supposed to be working together to destroy the Skull Girl, and you let her right to us. As though I'd explain myself to a child. We came to stop Dr. Avian's work, and that's what we did. You really think I'm gonna let you walk out of here alive, nurse? I don't think you have a choice. I'll admit you were almost an interesting opponent, but infected by Avian's philosophy of weakness, you're nothing more than garbage. Double? It's time Lab 8's final experiment came to an end. Squawk! We'll show you weakness, lady! We are gonna murderize you. Time to die, traitor! Yeah, what they say. We're sending you straight to hell for what you did to the doc! Hello, nurse! Try to keep it cute, huh? Fight! Oh, Patrick. No place. Enough! Oh, Patrick. 
Patricia, you should not have come. Do not worry about me. My quest is nearly at an end. Oh, please! Don't worry about you! Some hellish MacGuffin has turned you into an undead killing machine! And I was created to stop you! There's no way you can beat me! So of course I'm worried about ya! Look, Patricia. You will understand. Is that... him? So all these people are... Evil. From the slave traders of Ramograd to their patrons, the Medicis. All must perish. Patricia, please leave. I cannot guarantee your safety much longer. You know I can't do that. You must be taking everything you've got to fight that thing inside you. One of these days, you'll slip up and you'll be just as bad as those guys. Or worse. You leave me no choice but to beat you down, blow you up, and rip the skull hotter right out of you. Well, let's hope there's enough of you left that we can sit down with some pie together when this is all over. Thank you so 
Quite 
on the set.
foolish child. Do you really think this is over? Right, Marie? Right, Patricia. I'm sorry I ran away that day. You stood up for us, and I ran. When I found the Skull Heart, I thought maybe I could make things right and punish the people that did that to you. We're good. You'll always be my friend. Got it? That makes me... happy. Tell you what. I'll pick up where you left off. Now that I beat you, saved the day, and it's rerun season, I don't have much to do. So why not? Well, that... And bloodying those Mafia fools sounds like a hoot. That would be wonderful. Thank you, Patricia. It was good seeing you. One last time. So, the rumors were true. Geiger's resorted to experimenting on children now. My, how the mighty have fallen. Cram it, Granny. I don't want to rush you, but let's get this over with already. I've been slaughtering your goons all night. I'm missing my stories, and I need my beauty. Then let me tuck you in for your final bedtime. You hear the news? Skullgirl's been going after all those families in Maplecrest. Looks like this new Skullgirl's got a bone to pick with the boss. Where's he gone anyway, huh? I think the rumors of him getting sick are true. Hold up. Look, there she is. That fish folk dame we were sent to find. Hey, Goily. Can we get some, uh, service over here? Yes! May I help you, sir? Hey now, you're quite the dish. I'd like to eat you up. <laughs> Why don't you swim over here with a couple free drinks? And we hit the town. I, I'm sorry, but I need to work. You know, you are pretty cute. What oh, stinking kill girl. Is everything okay over here? Are these guys bugging you, Manette? Go find yourself a sandbox, kitty. We're just having a friendly chat with the little minnow here. Leave. Now. Or I'll throw you out myself. Can't you take a clue, you flea-bitten tot? Clearly you don't know who you're messing with. <laughs> Did you see that? That stupid cat didn't stand a chance. What the? Never mind her. We found what we're looking for. Let's get back and tell Batali. <laughs> you okay, Manette? They didn't hurt you, did they? That was... amazing! What would I do without you? Thanks for scaring them off, Nadia. Your next dinner is on me. Actually, I think it's time I make my move and follow them. I've got to catch me a skull girl. And it sounds like Mafia Goons are the perfect bait to draw her out. Sounds very dangerous! Be careful out there. You're like family to us, you know? Nadia, do you really think the Skull Heart can bring your friends back? There's only one way to find out. See you around, Union. Thank you.
Give my regards to your dad, Minette. Curiosity <gasps> can't kill me. Break a leg out there. Let's rock! <laughs> 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 Did that hurt? Curiosity can't kill me. This is true love we're making! Encounter of the third kind. Well, well, what have we here? That's quite the body you've got there, Kitty. <laughs> Sorry, creepy lady. I'm not interested. Oh, don't get the wrong idea. I was just admiring your scars. You've been cut clean through several times over. No one could survive that. Yet here you are, walking, talking, and shedding. Whatever's animating you could be invaluable to my research. Let's perform an autopsy and see what makes you tick. I think you're looking for a lab rat. Estimated you, but I've seen all that I need to see. And I'm sure the analysis of this blood will prove most enlightening. You just don't stop, do you? Lady Valentine, the Skull Girl has requested your presence at the cathedral. A nurse and a nun. Huh, where have I heard this joke before? I'll be there soon, Double. Return and let Marie know that I found Lorenzo. His minions led me right to him. I just had to stop and perform a little experiment on our feline friend here. Very well. Take care, Kitty. We'll have a follow-up visit as soon as these tests come back from the lab. So, the schoolgirl is hiding out at the Grand Cathedral, is she? Never was one for churches, but here I'll make an exception. We'll be back together soon enough, guys. Time to pull myself together. Gentlemen and ladies, it's showtime! Crow! <laughs> Squ- 
So, this is the Grand Cathedral, eh? Meow, what's a schoolgirl like you doing in a place like this? She followed me home, Double. Can I keep her? You again! Don't you have an appointment with the schoolgirl? Indeed, I did. But I'm afraid we've got a scheduling conflict. As it turns out, you've got an appointment on my dissection table, right about now. Let's not be late, or I'll have to get my spray bottle. You couldn't beat me before, so what makes you think you can now? Yes, my previous experiment was a failure, but I've got my lab assistant to help this time around. May the Trinity have mercy on this poor, lost soul. The nun is your lab assistant? Hate to break it to you, lady, but you're not gonna get much science out of this one. Your experience will have to wait, Valentine. She is a candidate. A candidate, you say? Even better. Come on, Kitty. The doctor will see you now. Let's see if you're up to scratch. Nobody blink! Alright, Skullgirl, you know why I'm here. I do. So, no offense, but you're the last thing standing between me and my family. So let's get this show on the road! I too have lost much to the Medicis. Do you not seek vengeance? Wishes such as yours rarely turn out well. I've got to try. The Fishbone Gang raised me, protected me, and taught me everything I know. The least I can do is return the favor. Your instincts are admirable. My wish was also to protect my friends. Look, I'm gonna have to stop you before you get to the we're a lot alike you and I bit. I've come too far to turn around, so it's time to claw that heart out of you. So be it. I hope your wish turns out well. Take Know your 
play. Don't you dare challenge me. See how weak you are. Know your place. Be how weak you are. See how weak you are. See how weak you are. Alright, this is it. I... I can't do it. I have so many new friends in Little Innsmouth. Terrible as it was, what happened happened and made me who I am today. Changing that would be... wrong. That's what the skull heart is here for, isn't it? To tempt us into doing the wrong thing. Marie said her wish was similar, and look how she turned out. This stops here! A temporary setback. This world will always be cursed by a skull heart. And so shall it always be cursed with skull girls. Until this world exists no more. Hmm. All that for a life lesson? How annoying. Well, better go check in on everyone back in Little Innsmouth. And get some food. I'm exhausted. Union, I'm back. I'm starving. It's time for that free meal you promised. Bring me the full Lucky Family Banquet. Nadia! There you are! Minette has been kidnapped. All the River King's daughters. And others, too! Little Innsmouth is in a panic! What? Who would dare do such a thing? That's where I come in. My name is Irvin. I'm a private detective. The River King hired me to find his daughters, so if you have any information that might help, I'd appreciate if you shared it. The proprietor of this fine establishment was telling me that there have been numerous Mafia sightings in the area recently. That's the only lead we've got but kidnapping certainly fits the mob's M.O. We're at a loss as to why they'd be targeting Dagonian women, though. The Mafia! Maybe Marie had it right all along. Urban, I'm coming with you. Those black-hearted bastards already took one family from me, and like hell I'm going to let them do it again. Hang in there, Minette. We'll find you. Parasol! Good evening, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to the 5 o'clock Canopy Kingdom News. I'm Rachel Wong, reporting from our studio in the nation's capital, Canopolis. Frank has the night off. In our top story today, there have been numerous reports of Skullgirl sightings in New Meridian, leading the Canopy military to raise the Skullgirl alert level to mob. New Meridian citizens are advised to stay indoors, remain vigilant, and report anything suspicious. This newest incarnation of the Skullgirl has yet to be identified, but our sources within the NMPD say her victims seem to be connected with the prestigious Medici family. Lorenzo Medici, the most prominent of this powerful clan, has withdrawn from the public spotlight and is believed to have gone into hiding. 
Having just observed the seventh anniversary of the defeat of the previous Skullgirl, our kingdom's own Queen Nancy, Trinity bless her soul, the appearance of a new Skullgirl is a chilling development. While expected, the core of our nation is once again shaken as normalcy seemed to be returning. But we will not be defeated, and we will stand strong against this new enemy. In related royal news, the eldest daughter of Queen Nancy and King Franz, Princess Parasol, has successfully apprehended the infamous Gigan half-breed terrorist Scythana with the help of her elite military force, the Black Egrets. As reported earlier, Scythana attacked the Renoir Grand War Memorial in Canopolis and has been detained in Alistair Maximum Security Prison. So once again, thanks to Princess Parasol and the Black Egrets, you can sleep easy at night, even as this new threat has emerged. In these uncertain times, it's good to know that we can always rely on the strength and leadership of our canopy royal family. Good night, and Goddess Speed. I'm bored. This is boring. Let's go already. I want ice cream! You were the one that wanted to come. What did you expect? Yeah, well... So I changed my mind! I thought I'd get to see you beat up bad guys using your sonic boobs, pool balls, and KFC combos. You know, the good stuff. Not just stare at smelly prisoners for hours on end. It's a prison. Why would I beat up the people we already captured? Fine, fine. We'll all put the kingdom's safety on hold for your ice cream. You little brat. Seriously, what am I going to do with you? We'll go after we return to the castle. Hooray! I knew that all that nagging would pay off. Ready to go, Umbrella? I've got the car waiting. Jeez, it's about time! Let's see now. I'm gonna get strawberry and hunger and we'll have... Commander Parasol! Commander? At ease, soldiers. What's going on? Your Highness, we have confirmed intelligence that the new Skullgirl menace has surfaced in New Meridian. So, it begins. Sorry, Umbrella. It looks like your ice cream will have to wait. Molly, assemble the Black Egrets. Execute Operation SG-009 and make preparations to mobilize to New Meridian immediately. Finally, some real action. I call shotgun. Umbrella, stop it. This is serious. You know you can't come. It's just not safe. What? I just want to see you and Krieg in action. Adam, make arrangements for Umbrella to get some ice cream. And keep her safe. Uh, yes, sir. Operation, uh, Chocolate Dawn will commence post-haste, sir. I don't want ice cream anymore. I want to go too! Umbrella, I promise I'll make it up to you someday. After I'm done with the Skullgirl. One day you'll understand. No! You always say that! Don't be that way. Our people need us now more than ever. Do you know how important this is? The safety of millions is at risk. I don't care! I'm always locked up in this crummy castle with your stupid lieutenants! They hate you! Why, you... I don't have time for this. We'll discuss this later. Egrets roll out to New Meridian. Sir, yes, sir! Uh, my chest... Wait... Is that... Mom? Now, Your Highness, uh... Umbrella? About that ice cream... Where did you want to go? Now, where did she run off to? You're under arrest. Come peacefully. Gentlemen and ladies, it's showtime! Meow, <laughs> 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 it's...
You pose no threat. For my kingdom. Everybody, mind your marks! Let's rock! Neutralized. reports that the Skull Girl has been spotted near the River King Casino. Sir, target confirmed. Excellent work, men. Advance on the target immediately and aim for the Skull Heart. We don't have a clear visual on the Skull Heart. The target is blocked by... It's your sister, Princess Umbrella. What? What is she doing here? Umbrella! That's the Skull Girl! Get away from her! No, sis! It's Mom! She's back! What? What are you talking about? That's not our mother! Very touching indeed. Who knew our steely princess had a soft spot? Leave her out of this! Your fight is with me! Normally I'd comply, but this girl seems... special. She appears to share a powerful bond with the Skull Girl, and that warrants further study. Don't worry, though. The experiment should be relatively painless. Now, if you'll excuse us. Come back here! I can't allow that, Princess. Duty calls. Egret, dispatch! <laughs> All in the mind. Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. In my sight. Sister await beneath the everlasting gates of the Trinity. 
pursue, and perhaps she whispered her fate. Princess Parasol, there you are. Our scouts are reporting that the target has been seen in the vicinity of Fable Crest and appears to be heading to the Divine Trinity's Grand Cathedral. Thank you, Mommy. We pursue at once. Our enemy must not succeed. Everybody, split up and search the cathedral. Find the Skull Girl and my sister. Sir, yes, sir! I'll save you the trouble. Your sister and the Skull Girl are in the catacombs deep below. Time is running out for dear Umbrella. But I'm afraid we can't let you interfere. You'll pay for this, demon! My, my, such anger. Your mother used to pray for peace here every day. How disappointed she would be. For my kingdom. done nothing. She was too weak to wrest the heart from me herself, so we waited. She reminds me of an old friend. Then let her go! I can't. Her bond with the heart drains her life as we speak. It cannot be stopped. Unless someone takes her place, the only way she can live now is as the Skull Girl. Can we get ice cream, Mama? I'll destroy you, monster! Such violence. Have you learned nothing from your father's mistakes?
There's no other way then. Skull heart! I wish my sister will never become the Skull Girl! Your sister shall be spared. And in time, you shall take her place. Are you okay, Umbrella? Come on. Get... cereal. Sleep well, sis. Because tomorrow, we start your training. Soul contamination stabilized. Begin implanting the control mechanism. Her body seems to have fully assimilated the Skull Girl's blood, Doctor. Implantation complete. No signs of rejection, Doctor. Good. Establishing control. Now. Obey Lab Zero. Find the Skull Girl and destroy her. Retrieve the Skull Heart and return it to Lab Zero. Oh! <laughs> 
Now, let's see. That's 19 Medici-affiliated families in Maplecrest. Marie is going to have a field day with this. You! Valentine! It was you! You're the one that took this life from me! Well, if it isn't Subject 084. What did Brain Drain call you again? Oh, right. Pain Wheel. It's been swell, Pain Wheel, but I'm busy. Turn around and head back to the lab. No! No. You've been programmed to obey your Lab Zero creators without fail. How can you resist my order? Let's try this again. Invoking Command Protocol 51, access code 36E2540. I order you to return to Lab Zero and forget that you ever saw me. Ah, get out of my head! Code accepted. Command Protocol 51 initiated. Overriding autonomous control. No! I'm so close! Valentine is right there! I can make her pay for what she did to me! And what's this? I can sense the Skullgirl's aura on her. Resistance detected. Subjugating and sequestering resident ego. You're still here. Leave at once. I said no! Impossible. How could you overcome a command protocol? That shred of a soul we left you with shouldn't be enough to fight Brain Drain's control. I can feel the skull girl on you, Valentine. Now that just won't do. It would seem I've been hanging around Marie too long and have been tainted with her ethereal stink. The Skullgirl blood in you must be reacting to that. But I wonder, perhaps there's more to that blood than we knew. Let's conduct a little experiment. Come to the Grand Cathedral of the Divine Trinity. I'll be waiting, and so will the Skullgirl. See you there. Ha! <laughs> 
You made it. Excellent. Subject 084, initiate command protocol 51, access code 36E2540. I order you to return to Lab Zero immediately. <laughs> it won't work, Valentine. I'm in control now. Amazing. It would seem my theory was correct. Your blood is resonating with the Skullgirl. The closer you get to her, the stronger your psyche becomes. Enough experiments! It's time for you to pay for what you did to me! Lady Valentine, let us dispose of this aberration at once. No. Leave her to me. The least I can do is put her down myself. I did create her after all. Very well. I'm gonna cut you to ribbons! I think it's time you challenge Marie. Go! The Skullgirl awaits in the catacombs below. Why should I listen to you? Do you want freedom? Do you want to reclaim the boring, humdrum life we stole from you? Until the Skullgirl is defeated, no one is truly free, and you have the strength to stop her. You're right. But don't think for a second this is over, Valentine. I will find you. Skullgirl, I'm here to destroy you! How curious. Evil people made you into a monster. But you broke free of their control. Yet you still wish to do their bidding? This is my choice! Brain drain, Valentine, this cursed blood within me, I don't give a damn. Tearing you apart is the only true path to freedom! I'm 
My life was taken from me. You poor, miserable child. I can return your life to you, and so much more. No! I will not be enslaved by you, Lab Zero, or anyone! Your freedom is an illusion. This changes nothing. It's over. I can go home. Zero. We have much to discuss. Do you really think you can control me? The truth is... You're next! Valentine! I guess I don't have any choice. It's up to her now. Painwheel will need to finish what I couldn't. Valentine, 
There are those that would interfere with my plan. Infiltrate Lab 8 and see to it they do not. As you wish, Marie. I'll leave at once. of your directive, which means you must be somehow resisting Brain Drain's control. You'd have to be incredibly strong to overcome his influence. I wonder... I think this warrants further study. Tisk tisk. It looks ah! like we'll have to operate. Gentlemen and ladies, it's... Don't even try. Yes. 
I'm disappointed in you. No! <sighs> Pathetic. I thought I made you better than this, Pain Wheel. You're a failure. You'll never fulfill your purpose and defeat the Skull Girl. My purpose? My purpose is to destroy you! You're persistent, I'll give you that. Maybe you just need more time. Listen, weakling. If you're going to have any hope of exacting your revenge, you're going to have to be a lot stronger than that. If you ever get the nerve to try again, I'll be waiting for you in the Grand Cathedral. Ah, I will kill you! Good. I'm counting on it. is my insurance policy. The Trinity does not look kindly upon traitors. Time for your physical. Gentlemen and ladies, it's showtime! <laughs> Ripsaw! Power strike! Why insistent? Push! Time to apply pressure. 
Still not ready, Painwheel. But maybe someday you won't be totally useless. Don't patronize me, Valentine! I will get stronger and I will destroy you! It's too late for that. I'll have to take care of this myself. And if I can't, come find me and we'll try again. And again, until you finally succeed. Come back here! This isn't over! Take care, Painwheel. Sorry, Marie. I quit. We knew this day would come. It was inevitable and inconsequential. Destroying Lab 8 and Project Peacock was all that was required of you. Glad there aren't any hard feelings, then. I know what you really are and why you're here. You're nothing more than a pawn, just like me. But you let me get too close. Even if I die today, my research will aid the labs for generations. You got that? We're coming for you and your masters, monster. Count on it. Enough. should I do with the Skull Heart? I can't bring back the last hope. I know how those wishes turn out. I'm heading deeper into enemy lines. And I'll be waiting for you, Painwheel. Skull Heart, I wish to become the Skull Girl!
You needn't run anymore, child. The Trinity has heard your cries. You are to attack anti skull Girl Lab 8 and destroy as much of their research as possible. However, you must leave Peacock alone. I cannot comply. Peacock is perhaps the most serious threat to our mission here. To let her live would be folly. I command you to leave her alone. I made a promise. Promises mean nothing to our masters. We exist to serve them. Our plan is proceeding apace. Yes, somehow she wields your power to further her own agenda. Understood. I will continue. To fight his future. Gentlemen and ladies, it's showtime! <laughs> Oh! 
continues. Which one has been here acceptable? Gentlemen and ladies, it's showtime! Yes! Our masters are displeased. Yes. I have nearly cut the Medici cancer from the heart of this city. Once that is complete, I will do their bidding. They are tired of waiting. You exist for a single purpose. As you deny your purpose, they deny your continued existence. I will not let you stop me. Oh, <laughs> 
Her spirit was too strong. The skull art couldn't properly penetrate it, so synchronization was incomplete. Yes, I have chosen a new host. The other candidates will be consumed. is a joystick, a device that fell in from the 21st century. I find it helps me trace the branching threads of fate on the other side. A joystick? With a name like that, you'd think it'd be a bit more... exciting. Maybe you're doing it wrong. What if I... Calm down, sister. You'll have your fun in due time. Girls, dinner's ready! Stop playing and come eat before it gets cold! One second, mother. I just need to save my game. Before we go, I'll tell you this. Each branch is a history that might have been. However, there is one timeline where all the threads converge, including our own. Now that sounds like fun. I can't wait to get out of here. This one soon. Happy birthday, Selene. Time to blow out your candles. Don't forget to make a wish. My family! Roberto! Squiggly! Save them all! Don't let anyone touch her, you understand? Stop anybody who gets close. Even me.
She appears to have stopped the building from crashing into the streets below. Rather curious behavior for a skull girl. Carnage would only swell the ranks of her undead army. Commander Parasol, one of the Skullgirl's minions has broken formation. Egress, do not engage. Repeat, do not engage the minions supporting the wreckage. Help evacuate the civilians. As for the stray unit... Oh, she needs us, doesn't she? Ready? Gentlemen and ladies, it's showtime! On the try. Don't get caught. No, no, no! Napalm toss. In my hands. To me! She's not her father. I'll give her that. Men, protect Commander Parasol. Be careful, Egrets. This one is far stronger than the others. Lorenzo, Medici. Behind you, the small girl making her move. You dare turn your back on me! Or this empire you built on your victim's graves! I will destroy you! Not escape. Molly, status report. Most of the debris hit the water. Some buildings were damaged, but I'd say we got lucky. Sir, that strange minion's gone. The Skull Girl is the primary threat. We can't waste time on a rogue minion, no matter how unusual its behavior. Egrets, check for citizens that need emergency aid. After that, we're following that airship. The girl is becoming stronger as she loses herself to the heart. My own abilities weren't this strong before either. The scary part is... how natural it feels. To my shame, it appears that I cannot entirely block the Skullheart's influence. Don't feel bad, Leviathan. We couldn't have made it this far otherwise. I am forced to admit this is so. If not for that power, I doubt I would even be hearing your voice. What are you talking about? Oh, my mouth! Who would do such a thing, and why? I can think of but one man. And we aren't the only ones who want to see him pay for his crimes. Stay a while and listen. Try to keep it cute, huh? But! Arise! Would you kindly.
I don't even recognize New Meridian anymore. How long was I asleep? That I do not know, but I do know that it still reeks of the Medicis. Pardon me, miss, but what year is it? Year? What rock did you crawl out from? Samson. Leviathan? <laughs> Surprised you ain't dead yet. Though I'd need to ask a coroner to be sure. Are you two friends? Nice to meet you. My name is Philia. Sienna Contiello. But please, call me Squiggly. The pleasure is all mine. The city's changed so much while I was gone. Tell me, do you live around here? No, at least I don't think so. I lost my memory, so Samson is helping me look for the Skull Heart to wish it back. The Skull Heart? Philia! You've got to learn to shut your yap! What is the meaning of this, Samson? Things got complicated. It's none of your business. Never was. Miss Philia, do you have memories from before your head was occupied by this follicular vagabond? Huh? What do you mean? Stay out of this, worm! Does she seek the Skull Heart? Or have you pushed her toward it? I won't idly watch you bring doom to another host. Speaking of hosts, get a good look at his, kid. I'd say she looks like she ditched her own funeral, but she's not dressed nice enough for it. I beg your pardon! You don't want to make friends with the undead, kid. Can't trust them when there's a Skullgirl pulling their strings. And they seem so nice, too. You selfish fool, Samson. All these centuries, yet you've learned nothing. My lady, I humbly beg your assistance in this intervention. Of course. My apologies in advance, Philia. For what it's worth, we will aim for the boar infesting you. You old worm! Forgive us, but far worse will befall you if you pursue the Skull Heart. I speak from experience when I say that its consequences cannot be shaken off. Surely you must know what's happening to this city. I hate to say it, but he's got a point. It's not too late to back out, kid. What do you say? No. You can't even remember the life you're risking! I think someone I knew got in a mess, and I'm pretty sure it's my fault. I can't walk away from that just because I don't remember what I did. Samson, you said you'd support me, no matter what choice I made. <laughs> Looks like we can't call it quits just yet. Arrogant fool, your meddling will end only in tragedy. in the world was that? He seemed rather rude. And reckless. Samson was once respectable. 
I even considered him a friend. But that was a long, long time ago. Even before there was a Skullheart. I know not what he seeks to accomplish now, but it will not end well for him or that girl. Lorenzo will have to wait. We have to get to the Skullheart before they do. It shouldn't be too hard to find it. I can feel the Skullgirl's presence again. I'm sorry to have dragged you into this, but I shall follow you to the end. You already did that, remember? Ready? Gentlemen and ladies, it's showtime! <laughs> Wonderful! Tremolo! Dental! Straight! Would you find me? Take this! Ready? Look here! It's unusual how it blocks my control. Yet your connection to the heart is strong. Through it, I can sense that you, too, seek revenge against the Medicis. And against the man that silenced you. I believe you're a good person, but the heart's power is poison. Even when you used it to save those people, I could feel its hate growing inside you. I've seen where that hatred ends. You are not immune to its corruption either. You think you can resist the Skull Heart? I can feel your will falter. Before long, its power will overwhelm you. Dragonfly! Hot! Hot! Now 
he'll live to serve me. Try again, kid. Seems so much we have returned. This battle is all in the mind. What you are doing. Lorenzo is on the run, and his empire is vulnerable and in disarray. Don't throw away our only chance to break his grip on New Meridian. I'm sorry, I... Squiggly, behind you! You will give him another chance, yet all you do is disappoint. While the assistance is appreciated, your ill intentions are an entirely separate matter. We'll worry about the heart later. Let's team up and take care of this monster! I would be delighted. But whatever you do, don't let your guard down. This foul thing is brimming with the same power as the Skull Heart. That girl is a Medici, Squiggly. Knowing that, do you still want to ally with her? The Contiellos and the Medicis. Need I remind you how things worked out the last time your two families met? I'll let her actions speak for her, not you! Come on, Samson! Let's make a good impression! Right on her faces! Surprised you don't recognize me. 
I joined, joined your mother for her final birthday celebration. It was such a blessed day. day. Don't, Don't you remember it? it? what to say. I didn't know any of this. It doesn't matter. What's important to know is that the heart can never bring happiness. Not for you, your friend, or anyone else. Lorenzo fought a Skullgirl before, but he never ran. Something else has hurt him. He's been weakened and he won't last. For everyone else's sake, I hope you are right. But I suppose you would be the one who would know. What will you do this time, Leviathan? It would appear we've become quite inseparable. I will remain by your side until you next awaken. Thank you. a dangerous city even for me especially for me I used to be a cop and I always tried to do the right thing but I got one thing wrong and it just about cost me my life you see I thought the police were supposed to catch the bad guys it doesn't work like that in New Meridian my squad was on the take from the Medici Mafia you can guess what happened next. They left me for dead. They thought I was gone. Turns out that I'm full of surprises. These days, I walk a different beat. The Skullgirls. They play by a whole different set of rules. And they'll keep on coming until we put an end to the source of their power. The Skull Heart. That's my job. If 
if I can do that, we don't have to worry. For a while. To find the Skull Heart, I gotta track the Skull Girl. To track the Skull Girl, I gotta go where she'll be. Turns out this one has it in for the Medicis. This should be fun. Time to check out the River King Casino. A Medici joint lit up like a Christmas tree with Theonite readings. If it's not the Skull Girl, I don't know what it is. Hey, you! Big guy in the coat! Hold it! I can tell you're a pro, and I don't mean at gambling. What are you doing here? Thought I'd try my luck. Maybe catch a show. Well, too bad. The show caught you. I have a feeling there ain't just poker chips in those pockets. Open your coat. That won't be necessary. I've seen what I need to see. Turns out this just ain't my scene. Why don't you get back to entertaining your adoring patrons with your acrobatics? I'll see myself to the door. I'm not stupid, buddy. I don't know what you think you're up to, but I know guys like you. And if a guy like you doesn't work for us, well, he needs a damn good reason to be here. Get it? Girl, you don't know what you're asking for. <laughs> Let's do this in one take. Go! Speed <laughs> 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 There was a time when I cared about wasting the Medicis, but y'all moved down a few notches in my priorities. Nowadays, I'm more worried about wasting my time. Wait, wait! Come in! My raid is under attack! We gotta hurry! We can't hold... Since the Skullgirl didn't stick around, it looks like this was a setup. Sorry, Missy, but I've got somewhere else I've gotta be. You watch your step from now on. Showed up sooner than I expected, you old copycat. Who are you supposed to be? There's only one big band. You ain't fooling nobody. Your very existence is a symbol of humanity's arrogance. The parts of you that can still be considered alive are on borrowed time. And that time is over. Even cloaked in your form, my superiority will be clear. If you think you're scaring me, then you really don't know a damn thing about me. Let me teach you something! Stardust! Give me a hit! Horn crush! 
Tin ear. You might try to copy my style, but you can't fake soul. The next time we fight, my power will not be so limited. Somebody got in here and trashed the place. And while they were doing it, somebody else kept me out. Figures. It wasn't me they wanted. It was the dock. Damn. My night just got a whole hell of a lot worse. Of course, soon enough, theirs will too. When I catch up with them. They trashed this place good. They knew what to hit and they knew how hard. They've been in a lab like this one before. And these scalpels, they ain't the docks. And they sure as hell ain't what you'd find down at New Meridian General, either. That gives me some ideas. Time to find the Lab 8 survivors before somebody else does. That Skullgirl's got my blood on the boil! Come on, boys, we're off! It's murder time! We're returning to Lab 8 to pick up the pieces, Peacock. That's our priority. I'm with Ilya. This fight isn't over, and we need to get our hands on whatever might help. Who cares? They might come back, Peacock. We've got to get there first. <laughs> Did you trade your brain for a beehive? I get the skull girl. I smash the skull heart. Kerpow! After that, easy street. Not so fast. Aw, oh, man! The blowhard! Scram! Beat it! Get out of here, you big mook! Take it easy, Peacock. Stop and think. Thinking ain't my game, Brassafrass. My job is clobbering skullgirls. How's about you take care of the kitties while I exit stage left? Big talk. But you ain't ready to walk that talk. We'll track her down and take her out. Together. You go! Clean his clock! Don't clown me, Peacock. I do not fool around. Too bad, Big Bird. All I do is fool around. You will be prosecuted to the full extent of the jail. Nobody blink! Go! <laughs> Don't fail. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> not Look bad. Back on me. Beans, big low. You don't care. Two boots. I gotta go see a man about a dog. You pack a wallet for an old guy, but you can't stop this tune. Oh, Tommy! Excuse me. Damn, she's gone. That fool is gonna get herself killed. If she can't even take me out, no way she's ready to face off against a skull girl. And if I can't stop her, Dr. Avian's work goes down the drain. Ain't no way I'm gonna allow that, especially not now. 
Sorry, but I've got to go after her. Don't worry about us. You take care of Peacock. We'll head back to the lab. The doc didn't make it out. So now I've got to track down Peacock, the Skull Girl, and his killer. I'd say I was earning my pension tonight, but somehow I don't think Lab 8 offers a retirement plan. I like to think we offer other benefits. Ain't that right? Later, wife in. Be careful, Ben. Come back to us in one piece. What is it about tonight? I can't swing a dead me without hitting an alley full of weirdos. And looky here, a Medici Tin Man out for a stroll, right next to a body of water conveniently placed for dumping his sorry corpse, too. Good thing this one looks like he'll sink. It's time to get some revenge for the Fishbone Gang. You're messing with the wrong man, lady. We'll see about that. You will be prosecuted to the full extent of the jam. Quiet on the set! Let's rock! Two boots. Airmail. Fortune, hold it. This is my old partner. Now he tells me. If you wouldn't run off on your own. Sorry, Ben. She's with me. A little flaky, but she gets the job done in the end. She's helping me do some recon. You used to cuff him, not cuddle him. She's helping me with a case, Ben. I need all the help I can get. Things are crazy these days, though you don't need me to tell you that. You can say that again. The Skull Girl got some help that knows a bit too much about the ASG operation. The lab got tossed. And Avian's dead. Ashley, I was looking for you. Things are going to hell around here, but I'll spare you the song and dance. It sounds like you've got much bigger problems, my friend. I'm looking for somebody who uses heavy-duty scalpels. Someone who knows their way around a lab, too. And if it's who I think it is, there ain't an aspirin big enough to dent my headaches tonight. Say no more. Get on with your search, big man. If you want my advice, head downtown. There's some shady goings on that smell like Skullgirl. And don't worry about me, all right? I'm no rookie. I can handle one dismembered small timer. Just don't let her out of your sight. And if you get him killed, lady, I'll be back to separate your head from your shoulders. Permanently. Oh, officer, I'm as innocent as a kitten. Do I look stupid? Well... Can it? What in the hell was that? Skullgirl has revealed herself, and her attention is fixed elsewhere. She may have destroyed Lab 8, but she now has found a more fitting target for her wrath. Join me. I want to see New Meridian cleaned up, but not like this. Damn! This is the perfect opportunity. While her attention is fixed on keeping that tower aloft, she is vulnerable. We must strike immediately and decisively. You will engage the Skullgirl with Painwheel. The Skullgirl will not be able to retaliate, and should be no match for a coordinated assault from two ASG units. No dice. Do you know how many people will die if we do it your way and she drops the tower? We've got her in our sights now. It's only a matter of time before we take her down. We can do it without the collateral damage. That is of no consequence. 
The only thing that matters is destroying her before her power further awakens. You know, if I couldn't see your big damn brain, I'd be asking myself if you even had one. This is your response after you cost us Avian? The only miscalculation I've made is in attempting to work with another soft-hearted fool from Lab 8. Avian, at least, served the cause by creating weapons to battle the Skullgirls, even if those weapons have obvious flaws. Mine are not so weak. Painwheel, it falls to you. Go now, attack the Skullgirl! Nope, I don't think so. If we must go through you, then that is what we will do. Painwheel, destroy this defective tool, and do it quickly. You must pursue the Skullgirl before we lose our chance. Stop! Ordering me! Do it! Now! You will be prosecuted to the full extent of the jail. Nobody blink! Fight! Same old song! Airman! <laughs> <laughs> Shuffle! No! Don't! No. Sax him up! Airman! Shuffle! Sax him up! Be free! I gotta go see a man about a dog. You should have defeated a relic such as this one easily. I saw to that. But I can sense your resistance, Painwheel. I had thought you would be the perfect vessel, but, sadly, you yet require... refinement. You wasted my efforts. Return to Lab Zero immediately, or reprogramming. No! I will expect you shortly. Obey my command or suffer the consequences. I will tolerate no further disappointment. You don't have to listen to him, girl. Who are you? I'm just another anti-Skullgirl soldier. The difference is nobody tells me what to do. And if you let us help you, it could be the same for you. While that knucklehead was running his mouth, I called a friend, Leduc. He'll be here soon, and he'll take you somewhere safe. They've done some terrible things to her. You want me to take her back to Lab 8's crew? Yep. Ilium will know what to do. What are you going to do? Me? I've got to track down the other one before she gets herself killed. And now I know where she'll be. Another Lab 8 loser. Makes three for one today. First, that fool avian. So Peacock is here. Thanks. More like was. You're a bit late, I'm afraid. Maria's made short work of her, as Double and I will of you. I see how it is. You knocked off the dock while your shifty pal Double, nice name there, real clever, kept me busy. Defeat you on my terms, not yours. A nurse and a nun. You ever read your own job descriptions? I'll buy you a paper so you can check the classifieds. It's cheap and you might learn something. The only one who's going to learn a lesson is you. You'll feel a little sting, and then you won't feel anything at all. Think so? I'm not so sure. You don't seem like much without your squad. The Last Hope has a lot to answer for. Where are they? Gone. Though I keep their mementos with me. I can schedule an appointment if you want to meet them. In fact, I have an opening right now. Mementos? How sweet. Since it looks like you turned traitor in exchange for your life, that's when you hooked up with your churchy friend, right? I saw an opportunity and I took it. 
We all run out of luck one day, like you did all those years ago. Like you did just now. And you will never trouble another soul. One truth prevails. Quiet on the set! Let's rock! Applesauce! <laughs> Don't even try! <laughs> Hey, listen here. Be Where be Sleep Same old song. Black and blue. Get hot. I sure hope Peacock isn't dead. I'd whoop you either way, but I'll enjoy it more if I'm not distracted by rage. You mean Patricia? No, I did not kill her. I could not. But for the sake of destroying the ones who abused us, I was forced to deal with her. And now you have to deal with me! Don't you mean us, Big Blag? Peacock? The one and all! Trisha, you intend to battle me again? That first go-round was just a warm-up, old pal. Now that I got my backup band, it's time to cheat. You both want the Medicis to pay. Why then must you fight me? The Medicis are run-of-the-mill street trash. But you, there's no bigger threat than a Skullgirl on the loose. Nothing personal. But these days I have just one job, to stop your heart from beating. Turns out we got hired by the same employer. He ain't too picky, but what can you do? Business is booming. Why, you ask? It's Skullgirl season! Once, at the orphanage, you tried to save me. But I won't hold back this time. That's why I gotta do this, Marie. You're losing control! Then come, if you dare. Fall 
down a flight of stairs. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for my greatest hit. Every time you destroy this vessel, another will appear. There is no purpose to your actions. I shall always return. So what? see it. Getting beat by the Skullgirl was just a reality check. The next one is gonna hurt even worse. It might even kill you. If you want to survive it, you better learn your lesson and learn it good. I ain't a big fan of reality pops. The lessons put me to sleep. Give me cartoons any day. Sometimes you gotta be taught your limitations the hard way. The good news is that you don't have to face reality alone. Truth is, you never stop learning. I got a refresher today, too. Painwheel and Peacock, and others like them, need somebody to keep them on track. Might as well be me, right? I'm not dumb enough to think this is a happy ending. Ain't no such thing. The Nun, the Nurse, and the Skullgirl ain't the only shadows falling on New Meridian. We're gonna need those girls if we don't want to lose the last of the light. Seeing the Skullgirl trash my city and kill my comrades? Taking her down wasn't for revenge, but it felt good just the same. This city and me, we've been through a lot. New Meridian, it's not what he used to be, but neither am I. Yo, Bandcamp, you ever think about publishing your stories? We could call them Defective Comics. Nah, I don't want to steal the spotlight from you. We wouldn't even have to change the title. Lorenzo, are you there, darling? It's been such a long time. What's the special occasion? Welcome, Eliza. I'll be speaking on my father's behalf tonight. Forgive me for being terse, but as you may realize, our business has two pressing problems. You've heard about the latest Skullgirl, I presume? A little, as much as anyone else. You're doing such a good job keeping her victims under wraps, dear. All I know is it's like poor Selene all over again. You have my sympathies, but I don't do funerals. That brings us to our second problem. The racket you're running. You think we didn't know? You've been skimming from all those blood drives, Eliza. There's no bigger sin than stealing from charity. Now. Imagine if the public found out. So you're jumping at the chance to blackmail me. It doesn't pay to underestimate your partners, does it, darling? I take it you're not asking for a song. We both have our secrets to protect. I believe these two problems share one solution. You. Do you expect me to hunt the Skullgirl? Honey, I'm sorry, but that's just not my scene. My place is on the stage. Don't underestimate us. We know damn well what you're capable of. You have a knack for tracking blood. 
just like we do for talent. Of course, we wouldn't send you out alone. That's where I come in. Cerebella here will ensure that everything goes smoothly. You can count on me. And don't worry, Vitaly. We'll nab that cat if we see her too. That's my girl. As for you, Eliza, if you fail, we're going to have a conversation neither of us wants. Kill her! Kill her and bring me her heart, or you are finished in this town. You hear me? I will ruin you! Oh, Lorenzo. I hardly recognized you. You've grown so... distinguished. At least now I can see why you're so desperate. You want to see desperate? Desperate is when I rip out your skeleton and see if it's more useful to me than you are! You should hurry before it comes to that. Forget the blood scandal. Your fans would be in mourning. The Medici's are breathing down our necks, but all they send along is his little girl? Is this supposed to be a joke? The Skullgirl must have made quite a dent in their numbers if they're forced to recruit from the circus. Vitelli could have sent anyone. I'm all it takes. You'll learn that the hard way if you aren't careful. That living weapon of yours may be a powerhouse in a hat. But that strength never belonged to you. What are you talking about? It's not that different from you and your parasite. Hush, hun. I'm impressed that you aren't completely in the dark, but I'm more interested in getting this job over with. Ma'am, I believe that we may have found our first lead. Too right. Something smells in a grave, that's for sure. Come, we have work to do. I can't believe we got in a fight with the princess of all people. We must look like a pair of hooligans. If she turned out anything like her father, I would not worry about it. Besides, it was entirely her fault for lumping us in with those mindless, slouching zombies. You would think royalty would recognize the value of proper posture. My, my. I thought all the dead were under the control of the Skull Girl. Yet you two don't seem to be. Finally, someone who pays attention. We're not under her control. Thankfully, she's nowhere near, either. What is this? Some kind of ventriloquist act? The girl's mouth ain't even moving. Trust me, I've seen better. Why are we even listening to this girl anyway? Time's a wasting. Wait a second. I thought you looked familiar. You're Eliza, aren't you? I've loved your singing since I was a little girl. And you still look as beautiful as you did then. Oh, that's so flattering of you, sugar. You are quite famous yourself. But I'm more interested in whether your friend remembers me. Segment? That means... It can't be. You should be dead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you nuts? You're gonna blow your cover. Oh, don't worry. He's known me for a long time, sweetie. Leviathan, I know we've had our differences. But I must know if I can count on your support in these troubled times. Surely you've thought of reclaiming your rightful place as a Theon, just as I have. Or has the proud serpent I knew been reduced to a worm, digging his way through a rotten apple? My place is with those who share my ideals. Together we protect what we can. That has always been where I take my pride. And look where pride has led you. My life, on the other hand, has been rosy. Only by hiding your true nature. But I can see that it has re-emerged. 
Whatever purpose has awakened you, you must be stopped. Someone who knows Our Lady, but not well enough to stay out of the way. That's cute. Time for your return trip to the underworld, worm. Leviathan, who in the world are these people? The diva you so admire is nothing more than a blood-drenched idol. In our time, she called herself Neferu, but we knew her as the Crimson Scourge. The others, mere lackeys. Hey, wait up! No one has called me that in ages. Oh, it brings back such beautiful memories. It is past time for us to catch up, Leviathan. It's been far too long. How do I look? Charging through! I soon pass it away! Wait! To me! We are now! Grind you in the dirt! Monster! Boys, prepare the limo! You really thought you could win, Leviathan? You've picked up some tricks, but still. It's a miracle you're moving at all, attached to that dead weight. I... I don't think we can beat them! Patience, my lady. For now, we must exercise discretion and withdraw. You ain't going nowhere, dead meat. How does she move like that? She ain't that fast. From what I could see, she and that parasite appeared to be moving you. A talent I didn't know they had, and one that could be useful, if Leviathan understood who to serve. Try and remember that you're not the one in charge here, lady. I can assure you that interaction was strictly professional. Besides, you were the one who suspected them, dear. It was pretty obvious you wanted to catch up with your little buddy there. Your drama is not my drama. Understand? I think this one needs to learn some manners. Don't mind her, Horace. We were all that young ones. In fact, she's a surprising amount of fun. It's already been such an eventful evening. Elvis, the scent of blood is in the air. Start the car! You got it, boss. Man, what a dump. Why are we out here? This is the last place we'd find the Skull Girl. Because I smell something delectable. An aromatic trail of blood from one who should be but a mummy by now. Well, all I smell is fish. And all I see is a crappy looking Dagonian restaurant. Probably because that stupid hat blocks your view. Not like you know good food when you see it anyway. It's the cat burglar Vitaly wants! Eliza, we've gotta grab her! Hey, you! You better hand over the life gem you stole from us! Finders keepers! Our five finger discounts the Medici way! Life gem? Great Osiris! Of all the stories, that was Lorenzo's secret? And now he's lost it to a thief? How funny! Tell me, 
Is that the seasoning that makes your blood so piquant? Oh, I'm just aching to get a draw. May Bastet forgive me. I don't think so, crazy cat lady. All you're getting is hospital food. Gaze into the face of your death! Gentlemen and ladies, it's showtime! Cat eat cat world. I, I forgot, forgot how sweet the hunt was. I feel more alive than I have in years. Oh, boys, can you help me wrap up my leftovers? I'll be taking her to go. Let me out! Your trunk is for your junk, not me! Oh, we ain't letting the cat out of this doggy bag. takes care of that. I wonder how they'll get the gem out of her. I'd worry about myself if I were you. The life gem is a forgotten myth, and your boss will want to keep it that way. Watch it! I have the life that I do now because of Vitaly. You don't know a thing about the Medici. Your employers maintain a generous image, but if you knew the things they'll do for a profit... Oh, but we're here. Excellent. Why are we at your place? Oh dear. Did you really think I'd hand over a scrumptious little treat like her to that withered up old fool Lorenzo? Not really. I sort of thought you might double cross us. Oh my. It looks like you're a better judge of character than I thought. I did consider going along with Vitaly's game when he twisted my arm, but sitting on the sidelines, never to taste the thrill of victory? Pathetic. I'm keeping my cute new drinking fountain, but don't worry. Skullgirl or no, your friends won't be around to miss her. There's no way I'll let you do this. I've been waiting for an excuse to shut you up. Same here, clown. Let's go. You'll regret crossing paths with the Crimson Scourge. Sarabella, dear, I fear our duet ends here. How do I look? Something big is about to happen! Ah! Oh, yeah! No. So far! Pass it on, Crescent! Oh, oh, oh. Crescent! Oh, oh, Medici family. Sadly, they don't talk about me in the history books. But if you saw my resume, you'd know I was overqualified for that little job. Just try it. You're nobody. Just some nut job with a parasite. 
That lack of perspective is something I'll have to fix about the world. Well, I'll not miss her. I do so love blood fresh from the source. There's no comparison, even after tasting that of an immortal. I wonder what the blood of a Skullgirl tastes like. It would be easier to let her keep tearing at the Medici. But I'm not in this to let opportunities slip by. Not when I could claim her heart. Now, it's time to find her! All this blood in the air makes me nostalgic. I couldn't ask for a better invitation. Yeah, I always feel so cozy in places like this. I don't know, there's just something homey about the atmosphere. I just don't get you two sometimes. Who's there? That depends. Do you take confessions? Neferu! So Leviathan wasn't just fooling. You should be dead. You deserve to be dead. But it ain't all bad. I did always dream about being the cause. Samson, after so long, I was hoping you had a change of heart. But it must be fate that we met tonight of all nights. Help me teach these cattle who their gods are again. You're the reason they hate us. The reason Delilah had to die. You're the one who ruined everything we had. So you say, but Delilah is in the distant past. Either way, she'd be only a memory by now. You could have an eternal queen, yet you cling to that phantom. So, uh, question. Do I need to understand any of this? All I got was, she's evil. Got it in one, kid. Back in the day, her schemes just about trashed the whole damn world. Knowing this broad, the only reason she's here now is that she's gonna do it again using the Skull Heart. Humankind twists the facts of our lives into fairy tales. We grace them with our power as their champions, and they call us parasites, or reduce our brethren to mere tools. I'm just taking what has always belonged to us, dear. I know you're one self-obsessed piece of work, but things only turned out that way because of you. And no matter how you pretty it up, you're still talking about wrecking the world and enslaving people. I think I'm in over my head, but... Samson, we've got to stop her! It ain't happening, love. Step away from Madame Eliza. How amusing. Do you really think you can stop me, child? Let's gauge your worth as Samson's host. She is not half the vessel Delilah was, 
and even Delilah was unworthy of you. The years have been cruel to you, but there's still time. Think about what you could become. Consider what I will achieve, with or without you. No, stop! Not now, kid. Not now. We've been beat. We gotta regroup. I know her. She ain't gonna wish on the heart. So the one thing we got is time. Odd, the scent ends here, and this place is dry as a bone. Don't go chewing on anything, Albus. Uh, it's you who'd be on a menu, bird brain? It makes no difference. The power coursing through that heart is all that I need. I must thank the Medicis for sending me this way. You work for Lorenzo Medici? We had a fleeting association. It's over. His stink won't wash off so quickly. This chamber is lined with the corpses of Medici scum. I welcome a chance to add another. Girl, you are making a mess you can't clean up. You should have stuck to housework, love. Now, now. Her overconfidence only makes my job easier. I hope your lapdog knows he will be buried with his owner. <laughs> Deal with it in my just cause. Roll camera and Solar Elvis. Know your place. Stop 
story ends? The Medici will fall. Try to keep it cute, huh? should have chosen a livelier host. I've found you. What? The Crimson Scourge. Nefero. 
Boss, are you all right? Betrayer! You alone shall never be forgiven. Keep it away from Eliza! What is that thing? It was you! You murdered them! Aeon Venus! You killed my daughters! You destroyed my kingdom! Queen Lamia? Whatever it is, it carries her grudge. Before this thing pulls itself together, I need to find a way out. But how? I see now. You never should have let me reach this place. Come on, boys. What? Through that? You want to take your chances up here? Much better. You see, everything that belongs to you was always destined to be mine. All you've done is trap yourself in my world. Your suffering will be unending. I think not. I'm the one in my element here, Shadow of a Queen. It reminds me of that feral's blood. Perhaps not as rich, but I have more than I need. Far more. Your cells shall betray you! This battle is all in the mind. Let's rock! Stop the rock! Boy! Sirocco? Go now! Soiled! Achu! Butchery! Ha ha! Butcher! Step of Raw! I see Albus! Speech! Grind you in the dirt! Oh! <laughs> Yes, I am rich. Lamia, it is time to join your daughters. If it weren't consumed by a vendetta, the skull heart could have been useful to me. But like the ghost that haunts it, it no longer matters. This is not over. No matter how long you avoid death, there will come a reckoning. And you are done clinging to this world! Come, my servants. It is time to retire, relax, and to plan. Settle one of your old rivalries, ma'am? You could say that. It's ancient history. Whoever she was, well, it hardly makes a difference now. Good enough for me. All I need to know is that it's party time! Hmm. Eventually, the Medici will realize I don't have the heart. Before that happens, I could use that delicious cat to lure Lorenzo out. Or... Bad time's over, Neferu! Time to try you out! There is no way we will remain idle as you spin your web once again. We've come to put an end to your machinations. I expected you two to show up. 
Oh, this is perhaps sooner than I had anticipated. Let me guess, the corpse doesn't have much time left. This won't take long. It's four against two. <sighs> don't we count? I don't think they care about us, friend. I admire your resolve. But you must know the true strength of a Theon lies in the bond with their avatar. That being the case, it's more like four against one. But think a little before you mistake that for an advantage. All you are is a monster from the inside out! You are strong. And scary. But Samson is strong too. And I can handle scary! Only a perfect fool could fail to recognize the face of divinity. Gaze into the face of your death! Try to keep it cute, huh? <laughs> Stop it, Rome Cyber Fire! I suck! Better than I expected, but death is the fate of all mortals. Albus, take her to the crypt. If the skull heart returns, she will awaken. A crude alarm we can make use of. I'll find her a guest room. It'll be cramped, but uh, those chambers have a certain old world charm. As for you, Philia. Samson deserves a better host. One who can help him see the world more clearly. Don't you touch her! I don't believe you're in any position to do a thing about it. But for now, we'll let you keep him company until we find someone more suitable. As much as I enjoy these games, their scale is far too small. It is time for a new kingdom and a new age. This world so badly needs a wake-up call. Shall I prepare the car? No, I'll be going out on my own tonight. Civilization has made so many advances, but some problems are eternal. A strong leader is always required. 
I will remind them who stands at its apex. I'm going to put on a show for the whole world. And as usual, the Medici will supply me the stage. Let them all bathe in my glory. Were you not told? This is not over. Hello! The hero that did the impossible. The man that defeated a monster. He rallied a nation at war. There was a time when everyone could say, I know Beowulf. During the Grand War, the people of the Canopy Kingdom were gripped with a terrible fear of the race of savage giants known as the Gigans. They were unstoppable. Then came Beowulf. He defeated the brutal Gigan warrior Grendel in a no-holds-barred exhibition match as the nation watched. Seeing her son defeated, Grendel's mother was consumed by rage and lashed out. But our hero didn't flinch. The hag went down. That day, Beowulf became a legend. It wasn't long before Wolfomania was running wild. Beowulf, the champion of a nation, a natural entertainer, remembered for his wolf pack of fans and for action figures the Canopy Kingdom's little boys couldn't live without. But when the war ended, the patriotic spirit that fueled that adoration for Beowulf began to fade. After he left the ring, he was stuck with bit parts in cheap action flicks, game shows, and even infomercials. He didn't go out with a growl, but with a whimper, as the bad wolf man on the popular kids show, Annie of the Stars. Beowulf disappeared from the public eye. How long has it been since anybody's heard that famous howl? Shut up, TV. I still got the howl. And I got the noise complaints to prove it. Uh, those were the good old days, right? High five, buddy. Come on, don't leave me hanging. We interrupt Canopy Kingdom Celebrity Crash Out for a breaking report. The Skull Girl has reappeared. Sightings have been confirmed in downtown New Meridian and Maplecrest. Ow! A little late. Wait a sec. Did you slap me, bro? Not cool. Sister, you gotta help me! This thing is possessed! Is that the arm of a Gigan? What does it look like? Quick, do an exorcism or something! You should rid yourself of it, child. The dead are under the Skull Girl's control now. Hey! I earned this trophy fair and square. She can't have it. Finally! Stupid thing calmed down. You have been given a second chance. Renounce it. Be not prideful. Damn right I'm proud! I'm gonna kick some Skull Girl butt! I knew all you little wolves out there couldn't forget your main man! He's back to protect the pack! The Skullgirl's gonna regret treading on wolf territory. Champ, you sure you're ready for this? It's been years since you've gotten the ring. I might be too much for you to handle. How am I doing? I can't believe I get to help out with your comeback! Good, good. You, you're doing fine. Looks like we both got something to prove. Are you ready, Wolfpack? Cause I am! It's time. 
It's time! It's Beowulf time! This battle is all in the mind! Let's rock! Uh, uh, Wolf uh, yeah. uh, 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 Hammer! Uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, yeah. Hammer! Lone uh, 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 yeah. Hammer! Uh, what? Uh, uh, Wolf uh, Sweet! Uh, uh, yeah! yeah. Yeah! Uh, yeah! Yeah! Uh, yeah! Uh, yeah! Uh, yeah! Uh, uh, it was an honor. You need to work on those promos if you want to wear the strap. That little demonstration should put any doubt about my comeback to rest. That's just what I'll do to the Skull Girl, too! Don't worry about me, big guy. It's usually worse than this. How'd you like your first headliner? You taste blood out there, babe. You smell the crowd. They're hungry for more. They're dying for the wolf. Forget that no-name you just dropped on the mat. Even Grendel is ancient history. You're back. It's like the last few years never even happened. I'm so glad we're back in business together, bro. I am so pumped! Good, good. This is just the beginning. Zane McDougal is gonna take you all the way this time. I promise. Before too long, you'll be taking on the whole world's enemy, the Skull Girl, in front of the cameras. This train don't stop! <laughs> Not this time. But first things first. The town's in an uproar, right? Because of the Skull Girl. The populace is... how can I put this? They're hugging their teddy bears and crying. You can hear them out there, crying in fear. And do you know why? I don't! Tell me why! I'll tell you why. It's because there are so many freaks on the streets. The Skull Girl shows up, everything goes all wobbly, and the characters come popping out of the woodwork. We need someone to put them back in the woodwork. Do you think you could be a carpenter for me, Beowulf? Don't you worry, man. My entire body's a hammer. Uh, right. <laughs> right. Look, it's all set up. You don't have to worry about a thing. The cameras will capture your brave battle on behalf of the little people. Can you do that for me? I can be a hero! You wanna be a hero? Go and get him! I love the way you think, man. Always one step ahead. You can't stop me! That's right! The wolf is here to put a stop to... Wait, wait a second. Hey, you, guy. Roll camera. This is gonna be epic. What's he talking about? No idea. You think you can make a fool out of me? Get out of my way! There is, was, and ever will be. I won't go back. 
You can't make me! She's gone. Man, Zane wasn't kidding about the freak show. That fight was one big highlight reel. Remember, the tape goes to Zane McDougal. Write it down, would you, buddy? We only deliver what's on our menu. Don't you worry, babe. It's all part of the Beowulf comeback story. A big, beautiful story. Good old Zane's gonna make you look your best. Zane? What are you doing here? Oh, don't sweat it. I saw everything. You did good here today, kid. Real good. Come to my office tomorrow. We'll talk about your next match. Who's there? Oh, how amusing. I was looking for my wayward project, and I find instead a famous fool. You must be the one who beat her. I beat somebody. Or something. Screamed a lot. That who you mean? She clearly isn't ready if she lost to you. But it's survival of the fittest. This city is a proving ground after all. I just want to clean up New Meridian. The Skullgirl's out there somewhere, and I am going to find her. You plan to fight the Skullgirl? I've decided that it's your turn. Let's test you out. have more strength than you bargained on. <sighs> I didn't expect this. You can actually wield that Gigan's arm like a weapon. I've picked up a few tricks since I beat him. You beat a Gigan? Don't make me laugh. I lived that war, little man. You posed for the crowds, but you never once visited the battlefield. Alone, against a Gigan warrior at full strength, you'd never stand a chance. Then again, your ignorance may be staggering, but that has its uses, too. Who are you calling ignorant? You just got schooled by the wolf! And it was a lesson about not wasting my time. Sadly, I can see that you haven't learned anything at all. <laughs> I must be going, Beowulf. Good luck with your career. Any clue what's really going on around here? You want something, kid? Maybe you're dumber than I thought. Annie, girl of the stars, remember? Whoa, crazy! Man, you look just like the Annie I used to work with. I, I can tell the difference, though. It's the hair. Mm. Look, Beowulf. You're messing with things you don't understand. This isn't a show. It isn't a wrestling match. It's real. And you'll die. Stay away from the Skull Girl. Hey! Wrestling is real! If my hunch is right, whoever's behind your latest stunt is way worse than a crooked agent. You were already set up once. Don't be fooled again. What are you talking about? The Gigan? You're telling me you didn't notice? Oh no, not you two. Kids these days. Beowulf, it's time to grow up. Open your eyes. Stop fooling yourself and stop fighting for somebody you can't trust. 
and I can trust you. See you later, Annie. If that's even your name. You aren't kidding about the weirdos, Zane. Wish I could wrestle some of the guys from back in the day. It's the Skull Girl's influence. It brings them out. Out of the woodwork, right. You said that. I thought you wanted to be New Meridian's number one. Times change, my friend. You've got to keep up. Forget the old days. You're complaining to me while your fans are howling for the wolf. But the stuff I've been hearing... Nonsense, forget it. You know how people get, they just want to tear you down. They know you're onto something. Think about your career. Your wolf pack is back. Who cares about the rest? You know, you're right. The wolf is back. Which is good, because I have another little problem, I mean, another opportunity lined up. I need you at the River King Casino PDQ. I set up a match with a freak called Big Ben. You can't miss him. Big as a house with a trench coat draped over the mess. <sighs> there he is! Hey you! You ready to go? Are you talking to me? Damn right I am! The wolf is about to howl! What does that even mean? It means it's time for you to prepare yourself for a legendary beatdown! Why is a washed up TV wrestler getting in my way? You hit hard times and now you're Medici muscle? Hey! What are you calling washed up? But that reminds me, yo camera girl! Make sure you capture that sweet, sweet moment when I slam him right into the ground! Uh, I'm just here for the catering. Blimey. Crap thunder. Got it, got it. Ah! Gentlemen and ladies, it's showtime! <laughs> Wolf! Yeah! 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 Oh, oh, applesauce! Watch it! Giant step! Good job! This way! Hey, listen here! Horn club! Ow! Give me a hit! Star gun! Give me a hit! Give me a hit! Giant step! No move! Sweet! Wolf kick! I admit, that was an enhanced performance. Try again, kid. I am 287 pounds of folded steel. That's sex appeal. Gentlemen and ladies, it's showtime! Back on beat. No move! Super Ow! Ow! Cover Give me a hit! Give me a hit! And a giant step! One hit miss! Ow! Wolf kick! What? Sweet! Hands up! No move! Hammer! Simple play! No! Ow! No move! Ledge! Hey! 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 Star Gun! Applesauce! This blows! You'll give me a hit! Ow! I'm too old for this. Everything I say is a catchphrase! Wolfpack, this is for you! Did you get that? The part where I said, this is for you? Because they liked it. Uh... I knew it. While I was wasting time with you, they got to Avian. What was that all about? Sweet shark's tooth necklace you got there. That new? 
<laughs> you done good, kid. You done good. I got your next match lined up. You would not believe who you're fighting. I mean, you will literally not believe it. So who is it? That would ruin the surprise. I'm sick of surprises. Who was that guy I just fought anyway? No camera crews in sight, and now this guy is accusing me of being a Medici thug? Beowulf, buddy, baby cakes. Haven't you heard of hidden cameras? Look, you pay me to do the thinking here. You pay me to set up your fights, then you fight, remember? That's how the whole agent thing works. Maybe, but this whole thing is weird, Zane. Even for wrestling. Weird sells, baby. When you see how pumped up the crowd is for your next match, well, it's gonna take you further than you've ever been. You think so? Yeah. Remember Grendel? Forget Grendel. This match is going to leave that fossil in the dust. We are talking huge. We are talking massive. We are talking a surprise the size of New Meridian itself. I don't know. I ain't so sure you can pull it off. Leave it in my hands. That's all I'm asking here, my little wolf. Leave everything in my hands. Are you ready, wolf pack? Are you ready to howl? I fought hard to make it back. And tonight, we've got a surprise for you! I've agreed to a mystery match for you! I'm doing it all for you out there in New Meridian! to the crowd, just like always. And they're eating it up. How nice for you, Beowulf. Who are you supposed to be? I'd ask you the same question. By now, you can't pretend you don't know the fight was rigged, that Grendel was drugged, that you're no hero. Think back to that day, Beowulf. Grendel's elderly mother, sobbing over her dead son, put up more of a fight than he did, didn't she? If you say so. Strange, isn't it, that an elderly woman would be harder to best than a warrior in his prime? The only way to rile up the people was to show that the Giggins could be beaten. It was a setup. The one time the Medicis worked with the government, it came off perfectly. No. You know it's true, Beowulf. It's time to hang up your chair, apologize to the crowd, and leave the ring. That ain't gonna happen. This is my house. Right or wrong, nobody leaves this ring without a fight. Oh, 
said it might be true. I think Grendel probably was drugged that day. I didn't know. I just found it. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I'll make it up to you. I'll make it up to everybody. Even Grendel. Tonight, I promise you the biggest match of my career. And that? That was pathetic. So I'll make a new promise to you right now. I'm going to take on the Skull Girl. You hear me, New Meridian? I'm gonna take her down! That's right!
I saw your declaration in the ring. Quite bold. Damn right! I had enough of the runaround. I'm ready to fight the Skullgirl. You are a fool. But this... I never expected you would attempt it. You have slipped the leash. With those words, your fate is sealed. What the hell has gotten into you, man? And yet, you still bark. All I needed was for you to defeat the opponents I selected. Everything would have worked out for both of us. But now you mean to bite the hand that feeds you. What use is a dog that turns on its master? It is time to put you down. You're insane! I'm afraid you are mistaken, Beowulf. You're the one who is... in... game! I beat some of these guys, and now they're down here? Who the heck are you? Poor lost soul, don't you recognize me? These inferior beings dare get in our way, and that sealed their fate. This is the road you have chosen, and so you shall join them. You should have listened to me. Alas, I see now that you never would. It is the folly of men to be strong-headed fools. And now it's too late for you! Keep it cute, huh? Help! Wolf in the face, Pop. Oh! It's true. Hey! 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 Yeah! Uh, uh, hammer! Yeah! Hey! 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 Down. What? Yeah. Wolf King. Forgive me. The line for autographs starts here. Yeah, I beat you. Uh, wait. Is the rest of this place you too? Because I can beat that too. The Wolf Man. Laying the smack down on some seriously gross walls. It's squishy floor. Ew. Get used to the decor. You're not leaving. I've still got my chair. Don't forget the chair. It's called hurting for a reason, baby. Perhaps you might consider using it for its intended purpose. And sit, boy. I can make you much less comfortable. My patience for you won't last. You. And did you listen? Nope, not Beowulf. Now look. No more arguing. There's no way you stop the shapeshifter. That must have been her domain. She'll find her way here any second. And the schoolgirl is above us too. We have to get everyone out of here. Above us? Oh no. No, 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 no. Do not get any more stupid ideas. Look, Annie, I know I screwed up. I just loved being the hero. Now everybody's saying that I never was one. If that's true, I have a duty to make it right, don't I? I promised all those people up there that I was going to take down the Skullgirl, right? I'd better do it. But then, for Grendel, now might be our only chance. 
You're not going to listen to me, are you? Afraid not. Fine. You do what you want. Go and get yourself killed. Can't say I didn't try. Thanks, Annie. Oh, buddy. Feels like you're itching for a fight, too. Or is that the skull girl calling you? Up there. Ironic. You plan to fight me. With that, a corpse's arm. I thought you and the dead were best buds. Seems appropriate. You comprehend nothing. I have only sympathy for Grendel. You exploited him during the war, and even now, you still do. You're right. I know the truth now. It wasn't a fair fight. But Grendel, he's my partner now. Has been for years. That's why I'm gonna make things right. By taking you down. Maybe after that, the big guy can rest in peace. Is that supposed to make you feel better about what you did? A hollow sentiment. In truth, you fight for glory. But you have picked the wrong fight this time. You will find only the grave. Much of your strength is borrowed. I can take that advantage away from you, and I will turn it against you. Damn! Things can't get worse than this! Foolish male! Become food for the dragon! Tag team? Harsh. Guess I set that one up. For Grendel! 
Hope you can rest in peace, big guy. Or this piece if you can anyway. It's over. For a while anyway. Sucks, but the fight never really ends. No matter how long I go on. Man, it's really hitting me now. You are the same Annie I knew back in the day. That stuff, that's real. You finally got it. See, that's kind of my thing. This is what I do. The show? It's almost funny. The writers make up stories based on the folk tales that came down through the generations. The same ones that are based on my actual life. It's kind of weird playing yourself on television, isn't it? I hear that. You would, wouldn't you? You know, Beowulf, I misjudged you. You're kind of an idiot, but not a bad guy. In fact, you remind me of somebody I used to know years ago. Somebody who helped me when I needed it. Hmm... You know, that isn't a half-bad idea. Right on! Um, you lost me. Well, let's just say that when it comes to my show, what I want goes. It's more popular than ever, and so am I. What do you say to coming back? As the bad wolf man? No way. You may not be cut from the same cloth as me, but you should at least get a chance to play a hero on TV. I think... you've earned it. You might be a schmuck, but you helped me find my way to the heart of this little problem. With my strength and your green hair, we make an unbeatable team! Close enough. Get him, Beowulf! This show doesn't make any sense! Who is that idiot? Didn't he used to be a bad guy? Who cares? As long as they're a sweet, sweet toy! What the heck are you guys talking about? The Skull Heart is connected to a large underground structure, going deeper behind enemy lines. Wait for further report. If this is true, it may be key in finally ending our long struggle. But how do I know I can still trust you, Valentine? Lab 8 is under attack. Valentine has led the Skull Girl right to us. Send help immediately! Well, that settles that. What else does she expect us to believe? In the meantime, encountered the Feral, Ms. Fortune. Unlocking the secrets to her abilities is sure to revolutionize bioweapons. <sighs> That's just stupid! I could make something better in every way! I'll show her. I'll show them all! RF model R003. Activate boot up sequence. Identify yourself. I am more than a robot. Except, not really. Playing off air. Do 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 do. No, none of that. Just state your name and objective. Dramatic pause. I am Robo Fortune, created to destroy the Skullgirl 
as well as all who get in Lab Zero's way. Can I having been acquired a cheeseburger? <sighs> I suppose this will have to suffice. Now, get out there and execute your mission. I'm going back to the drawing board to think about where I went wrong. Beep boop. Plot shields operating at maximum. I will not bail. Barring control unit apathy. Crash and burn. If you see Painwheel, tell her I'm sick of her ignoring my messages. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Try to keep it cute, huh? Let's rock! Control Z. I'm the wildest there is, was, and ever will be. Is this how the story ends? Do you believe yes. in Fuzzy Set Theory? Oh, yeah! Gentlemen and ladies, it's showtime! <laughs> 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 Technology won't replace me, that is. You can't quit now! Error, they're not right. engaged. Hey. They're reaching first law. This is Tuna with Bacon Showtime! Yeah. Uh, hey, hit it! Yeah. I'll share! Oh. 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 Down control Z. Last processor. Was and ever will be. Try again, kid. Yes! Buster. Oh, yeah! Quiet on the set. Into the trash it goes! Wolfkick! You dream of flesh sheep and why? Approaching early. This battle is all in the mind. Let's rock! Elvis! Crescent! Elvis! 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 Elvis!
Bad processor. Zoom or roll for advance. Give a card. Unreal box. Double bubble head drone. Give a five. Ah. Oh, I see what's going on. Earth crescent. Colony. Oh, oh no. Boy, there are high. Let's get it out. Go now. Super fly. Now, nice. Loathing of puns detected. Activating pun mode. Break a leg out there. Showtime! Antivirus software fully updated. Try to keep it cute, huh? Require maintenance, not physicals. Why are you attacking me? We're on the same side. Beep boop meow. I am sorry, but my creator really wanted to prove that he could do better than. Quote. That stupid cat in those dumb drawings. End quote. Of all the petty, ridiculous. He has also labeled you a traitor. What? This is what I get for trying to save Christmas? <sighs> well, label me gone because I quit. I hope Brain Drain's paranoia comes back to bite him. Beep boop. Probability of future ironic twist rising. I am beginning to question my creator and his methods. You could always turn to religion for answers at the Grand Cathedral. I recommend taking the train and enjoying the city's sights while you soul search. That sounds uncannily appropriate. Proceeding with conveniently placed advice. Okay, justice. Roll camera and fight! Over Yeah. <laughs> 
Priority override, new behavior dictated. Try to keep it cute, huh? Let's rock! Headroom, go! Ah! Two spin! And I'll show! Up, 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 Unreal, you are nothing but a script kitty to me. Initiating unprovoked dialogue with designated adversary. Most flesh bags can choose their own purpose while I am trapped within my program parameters. I am not even sure if my creator was thinking straight. Can the skull heart grant my desire to shed these flawed constraints? I accepted the skull heart in hopes of challenging a world run through with corruption, but it is part of an even greater monster that binds me to its will. The only purpose of this so-called artifact is to spread death. Even if it proved compatible with that mechanical body, it would sooner corrupt your wish than fulfill it. What am I fighting for? Also, did you just give away a major plot point? Don't worry, nobody will think any of this nonsense is canon. Now. Let us act out our existential angst as this genre demands, in an ostentatious final boss battle. Curse this beautifully tragic destiny, beep boop meow. My machine heart is filled with sorrow and hype. Dare 
Again, kid. You can't fraud detected. Gentlemen and ladies, it's showtime! Target going out. Rounded. Instant. Rounded. Be a friend. Instant. Rounded. Instant. Rounded. Instant. 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 Stop rounded. Out. Wishes may, the tragedy of the Skull Heart will be repeated. Destroying the Skull Heart only resets the seven year cycle. Luckily, my creator's plans have taken this into account. Oh? Are, Are you, you sure his flawed human decision making won't ruin anything along the way? Be Retrieving objective and returning to lab. This should be interesting. Creator, I have apprehended the power source. You succeeded? I mean, of course you did. I built you after all. Never sent an organic to do a machine's job. People. Your brain is organic and has the most important job of... Moving on! At last, we can construct the next generation of machine. A new form that will surpass our own. Brain Drain's gruesome experiments, powered by the Skull Heart itself, 
gave rise to a new threat. Without a Skullgirl to hunt, Robo Fortune and her successors concluded human fallibility was the next threat that had to be heard. Nobody was safe. No! Annie, where are you going? Umbrella, we have to go now! Annie, we can't fight this many! Doc's got a point there. Then let's do our darn best to slow them down! Increase in sodium chloride detected, relieving blood pressure via cutting lasers. It is for your own good. Eat poop meow.
Did they just do our job for us? Yes. Yes, they did. 